Good morning, world. Good morning. <laughs> this is take five for you people who were laughing. <laughs> There's always something. All right. Today we are doing comments. If you've been paying attention, we actually put out two reaction videos today. I know that's unusual because I've been uh, missing in action for a while. But uh, I decided to take a break from uh, building a house. I didn't really build a house, but I helped. Um, and do some comment videos today with Cedric. We're here together. Yes. <laughs> this is the fifth take. We're going to get right into it. Stay tuned. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. And this is Cedric and Brian. Hey, Cedric. I know you can't see me, but I'm pointing to uh, my felt black cowboy hat that you were on. Uh, FaceTime with me when I bought. So I, was, yeah, I bought sir. that from uh, Tractor Supply, and Cedric goes, who are you? <laughs> Shopping at Tractor Supply now, wearing cowboy boots, felt cowboy hats, belt buckles with your ID on it. Not you're, my you're ID. Com completely different a, person now. I'm I've concerned. American flag on that cowboy belt, man, because that's the kind of channel we are. <laughs> wow. My goodness. So things are going good there in Tennessee? Uh, yes, they are going good. Um you know, I, I waited till I'm almost 60 to start doing uh, blue collar manual labor, and it's probably I probably did things out of order because I am beat up, man. I, my thumb is all swollen. My finger, I did something to my finger. I'm not flipping you off, Cedric. Um, but uh, yeah, time. no, but but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying building things. I come from a long line of carpenters, so it kind of feels good. In fact, I'm wearing my grandfather's tool belt well, out there. Since Jesus, Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> But I pulled out all these these newspaper clippings from my grandfather's tool belt, and it was really cool. They're, they were from uh, September of 1992. And uh, go watch Tennessee Time, and you'll see some things are way different, and some things have not changed. The geopolitics of 1992 are, like, no different from today. It's crazy. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, since we're talking about Tennessee, let's hop into these comments. All right. Um, I got a little chip on my shoulder right now. I'm angry with some of you people. It's because of this guy right there. This guy right there. <laughs> I'm used to some of the comments. Cedric, you're not black enough. You <laughs> believe everything that white people believe. You guys pause the music reaction too much. We will continue to pause. Get over it. But this new comment has been a new one that's been infiltrating the comments section for a long time now. And it centers around me moving to Tennessee. The double comment here, I'll read the first one, from at Debbie Holquist 20. Cedric, I would love to live in Tennessee. What's wrong with you? Debbie, that's a loaded question. We, it would take <laughs> the entire video to explain what's wrong with me. But anyway, she said, okay, I'm sure you have your reasons, but Tennessee is beautiful. The second comment is from at Storytime with Lana. Lana's a, a longtime com uh, commenter. She comments a lot. And she says, family, that is what it's all about. Cedric, move to Tennessee. The South is awesome. Love seeing y'all. See right there, y'all. I'll start yep. saying stuff like that, y'all. Glad right, I took some time to scroll through YouTube. Guys, here it is. I would love to move to Tennessee. Me and Brian have talked about this for a long time. We are both native Southern Californians. And I'm going to make this an excuse. And uh, Storytime of Lana said it perfectly. Family is everything. Whereas Brian picked up his family, some of the Beverly Hillbillies, and moved to Tennessee. <laughs> Two out of my three children still live here. I have a precious nine-month-old grandbaby who is here that I watch twice a week. My newly widowed mom lives in Palm Springs, about 45 minutes away. And my fiance is in the same situation. Two out of her three kids are still here. She's still invested in her job. So as much as I would love to move to Tennessee, because I'm not a big fan of California. For those of you who have heard of the, the city Beverly Hills, five o'clock in the evening, Monday through Friday, to get from Beverly Hills to Los Angeles International Airport, which is about 10 miles away, can sometimes take an hour, if not a little bit more. The traffic sucks. The homelessness sucks. A lot of things suck. Uh, suck. The road infrastructure is terrible. There's potholes every 30 yards. There's a lot of terrible things about California, but my family is still here. But his other daughter, though, is right next to me in North Carolina, so... 
She's in she's in Cary, North Carolina, and she's a flight attendant for Delta, which means she can fly here for less than the cost it would take me to take an Uber twenty miles away. All right, you know I, we're going to keep pushing though, Cedric. Keep pushing. <laughs> <laughs> Your son wants to get De- out of California too. I know he does. I've talked yes, to him. Debbie and Lana thinks, but I wasn't yelling. I was just having fun with that. So speaking of, you did that little accent on our Tennessee Time channel. Go watch Tennessee Time. Um, somebody commented that they said, assimilate already. Your accents make me want to gag. And so apparently we don't have Southern enough accents yet because, dude, I must talk like a Californian. You got to lose that beach accent, bruh. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I'm trying to work on you my were a beach Tennessee kid. accent. I, you know, I didn't grow up too far from the beach. You're correct. Either did yes. you. And I grew up further than you did. Mm. I was in the hood, dog. Yeah, okay. The Santa Monica hood. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expose me like that. <laughs> All right, I guess I guess I should uh, read a comment here, right? Oh, I thought you did. Uh, uh, no, that was from Tennessee time. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. People on here don't. They don't care about my accent. They just don't like me pausing videos so much. I right. thought you were going to read something about us pausing videos, but all right. Uh, let's see. Here's one. I'm just going to randomly read it. This was when we did uh, Wait in the Truck with um, Laney Wilson and Hardy. Don't read the one I was going to read. Go oh, ahead. Are you going to do this The 100% about R.I.P. from Yellowstone? From Rip? From no, no. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead then. All right, it says, 100% about Rip from Yellowstone, sticks up for Beth and fiercely defends her, but tells her she's a pain in the ass and loves her anyway. That's why we love Rip. That's what I say about Cedric all the time, man. You're a pain in the ass, but I love you anyway. (laughs) Love hate. Love hate. (laughs) And I always fiercely defend him. I appreciate that, brother. (laughs) I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to skip this one here, and since Brian touched on Hardy weight in the truck, this one's a little bit more serious, a little bit more lengthy. Okay. Um, it's from At The Journey. And uh, this one kind of pulls up the heartstrings a little bit. And she says, my husband hit me and threatened me in front of men multiple times. I looked at them and my husband started to laugh and said right in front of them, they won't help you. He was right. They didn't help me. They walked away and left me there. The only man that helped me and saved me was my Heavenly Father who gave me the courage and strength to run. I got the opportunity to call the police and leave the state, waiting for the authorities and God to serve him justice. Um, At the journey, thank you for being, you know what, I got to hand to some people, being that vulnerable in the comment section to a bunch of strangers, that is awesome. That takes a lot of courage. Uh, Brian and I have done that in the videos a few times. We've talked about personal things in our life. But at the journey, I hope um, I hope you get the justice you deserve. I hope he gets the justice he deserves. I am not going to insinu- insinuate anything, but if this justice means shaking hands with uh, Orenthal James Simpson one day, yeah. then uh, <laughs> I hope he gets the justice he deserves, and I hope you uh, you find a better life. And I'm glad that that song and maybe our reaction to it kind of helped you process this a little bit, and uh, I'm glad you got out of there. Amen. All right, I got one here because people ask us this question, and it's by a reaction we just did on Tuesday. It was The God Mode by Tom McDonald, and this is from Becky Levitt, 7808. She said, question, do you guys still watch the video before you record the reaction? No. So we used to do that, and we called our reactions reviews, and people said, you guys need to react, you know, first-time reactors, because... They believed that people were reacting for the first time. But we sincerely wanted to wait. We would know the song would come out or somebody would request the song, and we would wait, and then we would do it live. And you can tell, because in the old days, I would, ha- I would put the lyrics up, and you could tell we would go in-depth because we had watched it before. Um, but with God Mode, we didn't. We just put it on for the first time. Uh, sometimes what we'll do is, like what happened with this video, is we'll screw up or the recording screws up. So we watch the beginning of it, and then we have to stop and then restart. So we might have seen a little bit of it, but we hadn't really responded to it. But no, we try just to react to it. I think we're going to do, maybe Cedric, I don't know what you think. Um, since we're doing Tuesdays and Thursdays reactions, maybe we do like a reaction one day and a review the other and go a little more deep deep dive into something. Maybe we'll do that. It's a good idea. 
But what you guys will know, if it says reaction, it's a reaction. It's like we're just watching it for the first time. If it says a review, we're reviewing it with you guys. So, Because a lot of people get on us, right, Cedric? They say, you miss this, and you miss that, and you miss this. It's like, well, we're just watching it for the first time. You can't catch everything on the spot. And most of these people have probably heard the song 20 times, and they can pick it all up. But uh, you know, you got to give us some grace here. We're, we're trying to hear it, talk to each other, stop it. Yes, we do stop it and uh, give our thoughts on the fly. So it's it's not as easy as it seems when you're listening to something for the first time, especially rap, which is sometimes fast and you can't even understand it. I saw one yesterday, which kind of, it made me laugh because that old saying that hindsight is twenty twenty, and mm-hmm. someone re- uh, responded to our Oliver Anthony um, video that we did, what, seven, eight months ago? It was, it was a while ago. Yeah. And they were basically lecturing us on how he, he didn't take any money, they offered him millions, and his real name is Chris. Like eight months later, yes, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We know so- that now. It's like everybody else knows that now. But sometimes, when, like Brian said, when you're reacting to it, things come out later on that we didn't know when we reacted to it. But I guess you wouldn't know that. But it it makes me laugh when I see stuff like that. Yeah. All right. What do you got? <clears throat> um, this one I'm not going to comment on it. It's just it made me laugh. Okay. This is from a. Uh, when I did the uh, Charles Barkley video. And uh-huh. this is from one John McJunkin, 4613, uh, who is like Lana, is a long time listener and frequent commenter. <laughs> and McJunkin is, is known for his quirky comments. He just simply says, I'm back. Mm. Like one of Brian's ugly Christmas suits or such beliefs that the Commodores will ever be as popular without Lionel Richie. <laughs> Regarding Sir Charles, it's been hit in the head. He's been hit in the head too many times with basketball from the likes of Dr. J, Magic Johnson, The Bird, His Airness, and many, many more. Too many to actually count. They used to dunk on his big fool head. Heck, I think I remember seeing a game where even little Spud Webb dunked on Barkley's noggin <laughs> a few times. And Spud was only five foot tall. We can always count on John McJunkin to insert the most obscure, crazy, nonsensical comment. And we love it. John, we appreciate you, my brother. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got one here. Kind of kind of answers or talks about the question of, of how we pause too much, we don't pause enough. This is another one. I'm just reading recent ones here. This was from our God Mode reaction. Uh, this is by Grimace Mac. And Grimace, we appreciate it. It says, I don't understand why people get upset when reaction channels stop and react to the video. First of all, you have to legally. Secondly, the idea of mm. reacting of reaction is reacting. Also, if you support the channel and hosts, you should want their reactions and opinions. Now, I understand when they pause every three seconds and talk for twenty minutes. That's annoying and unnecessary, and I get that annoyance. I know Cedric likes to pause and talk for twenty minutes, but you know yeah, I try to me. keep them back. I try to keep them yeah. back. <laughs> Was that, that it? You got nothing to say? Yes. <laughs> no, I got nothing to say. I'll, I'll probably talk too long. <laughs> no, so we we do. I tried on, especially on God Mode, I tried to pause less, and then it got, actually got demonetized for a piece that I left in too long. But as Tom does, I just, uh, you know, sent a, a quick dispute and said, hey, well, what's going on here? And uh, he remonetized it because that's what Mo- Tom does. He, he, he allows us reactors to react and actually monetize. And um, so he did. But by leaving too much of a space, it did get flagged. So we do have to stop the reactions. It's not fair to the artist if we just let it play through, because then people can just clip that or listen to the whole thing and never go and listen to the actual artist. So again, if you don't like reactors stopping, then just go listen to the actual artist, and then you don't have to worry about it. (laughs) Seems simple. Seems simple. (laughs) I'm going to end with this last one here, and very similar to what Brian was saying about us pausing. This is a comment from one person, but literally thousands of people have sent us the same comment. And this is from a friend of mine, Lisa Ward, hyphen RM7DQ. And I know a lot of you are having the same problem. And she says, for quite some time, I wasn't seeing new videos from you guys. I thought it was just because you were in the middle of moving. Come to find out, it showed I was no longer subscribed to your channel. I never unsubscribe. Anyway, looking forward to more videos. And of course, she ended with, Cedric, get your butt here to Tennessee. 
Yep. I did it. You can too. Yep. I'm going to cross that part out. Lisa, that wasn't necessary. <laughs> um, I want to say, I have to say this, you guys, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. We have the elections coming up really soon. And like Brian said, we're going to be getting hot and heavy into things that are going politically and, and culturally. And I don't know why people are magically becoming unsubscribed to our channel. I have my my opinions. I think I know Suspicions. because <laughs> what we talk about and who we are, that sometimes you magically become unsubscribed. But if we were to talk about Doja Cat and Megan Thee Stallion and, and, and supporting the transgender movement, for some reason, those channels, they don't magically get unsubscribed. But uh, make sure you go down there, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell. I'll say it again at the end of this video, but do that right now. Yeah, and we know why you get we get unsubscribed on people's, uh, or, or people get unsubscribed to us is because, number one, you are a black man that doesn't tow the black talking points, which uh, we've seen with Brandon Tatum, we've seen with the Hodge twins, we've seen with a lot of... Um, black people that are on the right or, or not on the woke left they complain about the same thing what was it what was the uh the girl that we we would watch um oh prayer you no 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 the the yep. her too but no the one uh not oh gothics remember yes gothics she was a a real liberal and kind of went over to the other side and all of a sudden she was getting demonetized and she got religious and she was getting uh, unsubscribed from people's channels. So we know that, I mean, it's one thing for a white guy because, you know, white people are allowed to have divergent opinions, but we know that Cedric is not allowed to have a divergent opinion. Go read some of the comments on some of our videos and black people will tell him, no, you're not supposed to think that way. So the powers that be at Google and YouTube, they don't want Cedric to think that way either. So they demonetize or they unsubscribe people from our channel, which is a damn shame. Yes. They don't mind free speech as long as it's the speech that coincides with the way they think. Yep. So I'm going to end with one just because on a, a happy note, talking about black and white. So this is black and white by Tom and Adam and Dax. So Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun and Dax. Um, they said... You guys are the best. This is from Jessica Morris K. You guys are the best, even when it's a tough talk. Thanks for being great. Thanks, Jessica. We try to be great. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard work, Jessica, but we do our best. Greatness uh, doesn't come easy. Well, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys for commenting because not only do we enjoy reading them, even the negative ones, um, it, it helps the algorithm, as Cedric has talked about in the past. Um YouTube likes to see uh, interactions, so that's why Cedric's job is usually to respond to all the comments, which I'm looking down here, and he's really behind uh, on his responding to the comments. So I'll, I'll have to talk to them, talk to him in the meeting later. <laughs> yeah, the production meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure I hop on that. In his scolding. He's going to get his scolding. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, like I said, in response to Lisa's comment, make sure you like subscribe and in some cases resubscribe mm -hmm. and uh like our video ring that and bell make sure you ring that bell yeah. and make sure you share our channel with everyone you know from california which is overcrowded and smelly and stinky and overrun by illegal immigrants sorry undocumented people and Into all tennessee. the way to tennessee <laughs> until <laughs> next <beyond>. time <laughs> Until next time, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. We'll see you later.